Hello and welcome to Leadmaster. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom quote template. First, you need to have access to the administration menu. If you do not have access to administration, then you will not be able to create the custom quote template. We then need to go to Custom Forms and Customize Quote Settings. This first section up here has the default quote settings listed here. You can either fill out this section for your default quote settings or you can add a quote template here. I'm going to go back and show you a template that I've already completed. So here we are at the edit quote template. So first we need to look at the status which can either be active or inactive. Active means that this one will be able to be accessed when you're on the sales update page in accounts. Inactive means that it will be listed on the previous page, but you will not be able to access this when you're in accounts. Give this a name, a description, and the order that you would like to have it seen on the page. Usually if you're making a default, you would like it to be listed as number one. Next we have our actual PDF information. This is how your PDF is going to look and this allows you to create your own design. So maybe instead of putting my company name right there I want to have a picture of my logo. So I'll insert an image Great. So now I can make it a little bit smaller or larger. Mine's automatically aligned in the center here. So I might want to make this. That's good. I like to have my information listed in a table so that all my information can keep its shape. So I want to add a little bit more information. I'm going to insert another table right here. Maybe I just want two lines. I'm going to need to stretch it out. And then in this line I want to have my quote information. So we're going to insert a merge field so that for each new quote that I create it'll have all the information I need already in place. So I'm going to go to quote information but there's also a lot of information that you can include here. Some of it I have listed here. And a great merge field to put into your PDF is the quote line items. Quote line items is the merge field that shows you all the different products or services that you have. It's a good item to include, and then I'm going to include the quote number. Okay, and then once you're finished with all of your information here, click Submit, and your template is now updated. So now let me show you what this looks like when we're in Accounts. We have to scroll down to our quote section. Here we go, and I have two new quotes. One with the default, and then one with the practice template that we just updated. So if you click on it, we have some of our information right here. And then if we click Create PDF, you'll see the information right here. This is the default form that we have automatically created in our system. Click close. And then our second one, this is the practice one that we just created. And as you can see, this is all of our information set up on the page. Here is the contacts information, the account manager information, our logo, and then our quote line information. 
and then the quote account number. And then from here you can create a PDF and then you can create a PDF and send the email. And this concludes the tutorial on how to update your custom quote settings.